All right, Riptide, this is Brady. I'm just going to show you. I downloaded your file, and I want to show you how to set up the Origin in Fusion 360. So um, here I am in Fusion 360. I downloaded your file and uploaded it to the project. Open it up here. that so you can always see the origin um, you can either turn it on here so you can see where it is um, but then what where you're having issues is if you go here to the cam wrong click um, double click on your setup folder and then I'm going to actually go back and turn off the origin. Now that I turned it on, it's going to be annoying. Go back to cam. Double click on your setup. And you can see where your origin is. Um, and the issue with that is that your machine is, if you're zeroed in the corner, then if, whether it's going positive or negative, it's going to crash into your limits if you're close to a limit. So to fix that, um, you can just change your box point, and you can do it at the top over here. And you saw how that moved. Um, you can always switch, flip your um, axis if you need to, and you can align the edges by clicking on the bar and then on an appropriate axis. So, um, hope that helps. You can just change it uh, instead of model origin. You want to make it to, you can do selected point, you can select any point on your model, you can do stock box point. So, if, you're, if you've got additional stock, or if you want to do model box point. So, for you, it seems like stock box point. Put it over in this corner, flip these guys around. And OK. Then you want to regenerate your tool paths. Another little tip you can you twirl these guys down, you right click on the file, and you can say View Toolpath. Now all these X and Y values should remain positive. Whereas before, there was a lot of negative values in there. So that looks right. Close it. And then you can post that and be good to go, hopefully.